everyone, Quietcraft Girl here, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today I have another diamond painting here. I had just finished this one a couple of days ago. I'm not really sure. The past couple of days have been crazy for me, so I'm not really sure what day I actually finished this on. But this one took me a while, mainly because I had put it to the side for the longest time because I had a, I was having a hard time finding motivation to do it because it's all this black. It took me so long, and when I diamond paint, I start from the top, so that's where I started. So it took me a while to um, get the motivation to do this, but once I kind of got down to her and stuff, though, I got more variation. I was able to finish actually quite quickly. Um, but yeah, I do like this one regardless of that. Um, next time, I just I don't think I'll order something like that again with so much blocking like that. It's really cool. I really like the, the idea of the picture because it's, it looks like the movie poster, but yeah, I don't think I'd order something with just that much black in it again, probably it's simply because of that reason. I definitely do like diamond paintings with more color to them so yeah but uh, but it's a good painting though I did enjoy it uh, this one I got off Amazon um, it was one of the I'd say the first batch when I first because when I first did diamond painting I only ordered one or two and then I did them and I really liked them and then I ordered my first big batch of diamond paintings and that's what this one was in and then my first big batch of paintings I ordered so of course at that point I knew about some aspects of diamond painting but not exactly everything yet henceforth why I didn't really realize with the whole so much black all the blocking it would just have to do with it and everything so but I finally completed this one so I'm happy so now that I'm done this one well, I'm going to be de-kitting it so I'm going to paint it aside because I do not need it because I did kit this one up which I do have the kitting up video on my channel I'll put a link to the description below to that video um anyways I did put the DMC code on the labels so I don't need a reference to back to my diamond painting so that's good um so and then that, I'm just gonna get right into it here. I got my binder. As you can see, I have a bag here because when I kid this up, I had so much extra black. I didn't have any like extra containers for all the black either. I had to put some aside, so when I saw I was emptying the containers, I just ripped it off. In the end, actually, although I ended up having this many baggies left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, six extra baggies. Hundreds and hundreds of diamonds. And I'm just going to keep it like this, especially because it's 310, I get so much of it. I'm not going to combine it into my baggies. I'm just going to throw it with the rest of my 310s that I have in here. Now, of course, I still have some 310 left in the container, and that will go in the baggie. But for now, um, that will go inside. Now, the first thing I need to do, because I have this in order of the letters to numbers kind of thing, I have to rearrange it into the DMC code so it's easier for when I'm going through them. So I'm just going to take them out of the case because I've learned that's the easiest and quickest way to do this. I'm at it. I'll take the little picture out. The little thumbnail I had of the vitamin painting. I do not need it anymore. I'll just put the container up there to the side. I don't really need it. Take this because that's an empty container there. That was my spare 310 container. Now let's see here. Uh, I got a 154 or 150. And um, I see a 304 and a 310. And a 351. Oh, there's 200 here. I missed that. I'll go back and put that in between them. Alright, so after that, I see a 400. A 500. And I'm going to jump to 700 right now. Like that. And there's one again. Oh, I found another 300 I missed. Let's just move that in there. And another 800 goes before this 800. Uh, oh, I found another 700. I keep missing them. Um, now on to my 900s. I have a couple of them. I have four 3000s. Oh, oh, there's another 800. Correct. Like me. Uh, there, that's the order of that. I might actually go like that. It's a little easier. Uh, so 33, 37, and 38. Okay, that's okay. That's all in order of DMC code now. Next, I to get my labels out. Got to use the color for today. I'm going to go with like the blacky gray fish color. And I'm going to just Instead of just digging through my drawer constantly while I'm doing this, 
I'm just going to grab a handful of baggies out of the regular little drawer here and use them. I have a bunch of baggies here that have labels on it from another time. Leave them in there. Put those to the side. Okay, I got many of the small ones here, some of the bigger ones just in case I think I need them. Alright, so I think I have everything out now. Okay, so my first number is 150, which I don't have in my kit. Oh, and before I start, I just remembered, this is a round, not a square. Usually I have squares, but this one was a round. So, I'm matching up to round drills. So, 150, which I do not have, so new baggie altogether. I always like it when I can fill one of my empty slots in my in my binder. I feel it's a nice feeling knowing that, okay, that one's got a color there now, you know? Oops, upside down. There you go. I guess technically if I wanted to, I could transfer this uh, label from the container to the baggie, but then also that label would also have the symbol on it, which I don't really want that on my baggies that I have in my binder, so I'm just going to write new labels. And that goes in the binder there. Yes, I have to mess her off. It's a little cooler of a morning I started up when I just throwing the day out. It's warmed up since then though, so it's had a sweater on from this morning. I don't really need it anymore, honestly though. Alright, 154. I do have, let's see if I have it around. Let's use that just as an extra bag. I have two square on round. Okay. The square back. And my tray. I remember to have my tray for checking for uh, tint differences or finding any uh Runaways. I remember to grab my tray and my pen to do that this time. I, I, I think I've, at this point, I've always forgotten. I actually remember this time. I am very proud of myself, sorry. Oh, there's a tint difference. Oh yeah, definitely will need a new baggie for that then. Unfortunately. Sorry if you're hearing any noise in the background. There's someone on my block. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but they have a lot of machinery running. I closed my window and it helped the sound a lot, but I can still hear it a bit myself. But So if you hear anything in the background, that's what that was. That's what that is. I should say that was, but it is. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we're jumping to 2. So 223. Uh, here we go. Oh, empty space. Look at that. A new baggie. New baggie, new color. I won't be surprised if a lot of this is new because a lot of the colors here don't, doesn't look like a lot of colors I've really had before. Um, so I'm thinking a good amount of these might be new colors added to my thing. But I could be wrong. I could be. So it's, um, we'll see what happens, I guess. I actually had a good amount of leftovers for every color basically in this diamond painting. They gave me a good hefty amount for each color, which was nice, so I have a good amount of extras. A lot of times it seems like, especially with certain colors in diamond paintings, I'm down to the last little bit and I'm so worried I'm going to have enough. There'd be any garbage or what. And, but this one had a good amount, so I didn't have to worry about that at all. Next number is 304, which I have. Or do I have it in square or circle? I have both. So we'll see if it matches the circle I have. Hmm. Ooh, that is that is very very close. I'm just wondering if the difference I'm seeing is because of the glare, because of the baggie. Let's give it a. Oh no, it's, it does match, it's just a bit of a glare on the baggie, that's all that was. So I can mix those, yep, I don't see any difference when putting them together. So that's good. It's always nice when I combine, and I have to make a new baggie just because there's a tint difference. It annoys me a little bit. I know uh, some people, they just mix them anyways, they don't really care. And maybe one day I'll be like that too. But for now, it bothers me immensely, so. 
Alright, sweet time. So, the biggie I have in here is square, not round, because I have a big baggie for my round. Yeah. It's over here. This huge baggie. I purposely made this a huge baggie because I knew there would be lots to be added to it. So, add to that. I always have three times. Basically, almost every painting. I've only had two, maybe three paintings that haven't had a 310 in it. They're usually always a 310. A lot of times it is the most the more dominant color. Sometimes it isn't though. I have run a few. It's just a little bit of 310, not lots, but it usually is a dominant number. Uh, 351. Whoopsies. Sorry about the camera. 351. I do not have that. Another new color for me. Grabbing some like bigger baggies, especially if I'm making more new baggies of these because of the I'm noticing as I'm going along here. Because right, there is a good amount left of each color here, um, they're almost filling these tiny baggies. And so if I go to if I ever have a, that color again in a painting and I have ah, there's not gonna be much room in the baggie. That one wasn't as much as the other one, but yeah. So I might grab some of my bigger baggies. Usually it's the opposite way around, but not today. So I'm just gonna grab a few of my little bigger ones. And that's why I have them. Alright, so 355. I do have it, but it's in square. So I will have to make a new baggie because it's round drills I've got. I haven't really seen any runaways, so we're good there. Oopsies. When I think back to when I was doing this kit, um, I don't recall ever really seeing much runaways or anything in the drills while I was working on it, so I might not come across. We'll see. I don't remember 100% every color, so... I do I work on like three to four dive and dime paintings at a time. I think that's another reason why I, I took me a lot longer to finish this one because I was like I wanted to do my other ones because they had lots of colors and they interested me more, whereas this one was like whatever, I didn't really care. So that's what happened. <laughs> Alright. So the next one I see I have is four hundred. It's a four fifteen which I have. Do I have it in circle? No, I have two variants of squares. So I'm definitely going to need a new baggie there. I don't know how a lot of room down there, so I'm just going to move those cases up a little bit more so I have just a little bit more room here. The noise from the machinery is stopped. Maybe they'd have done whatever they were working on. Actually, today has been a pretty nice day. It was a cool, nice morning, and even this afternoon it's not too hot out, but it's not too not chilly necessarily. But it's really cloudy here right now, too. So that's probably part of the reason why it's not as hot, because the sun's not shining. <laughs> there we go, 415. Add there to my collection. Uh, next one is 524, so I'm going to jump in a couple of pages. 524, I, is that a round I have it in? Yes, it is a round I have it in. Let's see if you match or you have a tint difference. Uh, looks like there's a tint difference, unfortunately. Oh, well. It is what it is. Usually when I find I have a tint difference, it's usually one of them is wrong and the other one is right. Because when I've noticed when I've been um, kitting down to my paintings, if I have two of one, usually the drills I have fit at least match at least one of them. And so that one's obviously the more right color variant. I At least that's how I look at it. I could be wrong. I think I've actually had one or two numbers where I have three baggies of the same shape 
in the same code apparently, but they all look different. And it's just like, how or why, I don't know, but yeah, that's how it goes. There we go. There we go. On to the next number. Oh, we're jumping to the 700s here, so we I got to jump up quite a bit here. Six, seven, so I'm going to 720. Here we are. Oh, don't have it. New color, new biggie color. I guess people are just liking the weather today. It's not too hot out, so they're liking it and they're doing stuff outside. <laughs> what I should technically probably should be doing. Maybe I'll go outside and dye and paint. I have yet to try dye and painting outside. And I keep meaning to, but it's been so hot lately I haven't really wanted to, so maybe I'll try that this afternoon. Alrighty then. 7.58. Jumping a couple pages there again. 758. I have. Looks like a square. Yeah, it's a square. So new biggie because this is round. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say this is like probably like the only one I have so little amount of leftover of. The other ones all have a good amount. This one has a small amount apparently. I didn't notice that before. It's all good though. Grab a smaller baby then, I guess. Nice, I am starting to get more of these colors filled in, definitely. Eventually, that'll be the point where they're all filled in, so it'll just depend what I'm adding to. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Jumping again. 800. 14 is what I'm looking for. I have 14. I have a couple baggies in here. What are they? I have two rounds. So let's test this theory. Let's see if I'm right. At least what this at least matches at least one of these round colors. Looks like these two rounds have just a slight tint difference. That's why there's two baggies of them. There's a round one that's stuck in there. There we go. Oh, whether it be static or whatever. It was stuck. Right. I had to say it matches this one. Not a good idea. Yeah, it matches this one. Yeah. So I can guess myself there. But no, it matches this one. So, so far, my hair tower holds my theory. It did match at least one of them. Yeah, mixed together. Yeah, I don't see any difference at all, so. Let's put this up since the square was still. I'll put the square back in there, but I just placed it on top of it. Ah, I can't get that. <laughs> there we go. 819 on the same page, but that one's in the square. I can see that from off the hop, so. We are going to be making a new baggie for that one as well. That was a smart one, I think it'll be 
think in the smaller one. Jumping a little bit. Oh, oopsies. Okay, this is a good example why I put labels on every single baggie because they do sometimes slide out from the top. So it's usually the top row I find it does the most. Um, funny enough, I don't have top row and non top row. But see how the numbers are on the baggies? That way I can match the baggies to the slots and they can go in their proper slots. Why I write on the baggies regardless if they're in the proper slots with the numbers on the slot. I like to have this because they do sometimes come into things where the pages slide out like that. Alright, 893. Oh, empty slot. There's a new color. Let's look at them out of that one. I think that baggie will work really well for that. See any runaways on there? I do have a new color baggie like this. It's pouring straight into the baggie from the container. Works. If I do see some runaways when I look at the container, then obviously I'll again create the runaways out and then put it in. But since I don't see anything offhand, and if I and like I said earlier, I recall this kit didn't have too many runaways, then I'm not gonna worry about it too much because it's more than likely good. All right, so never worry about the 900s. 900, I have a round of 900. Let's see if it matches or not. Mm, that's close. I'm gonna take one out of the bag and just to see, because I'm thinking I might be off a little bit. Oh no, they're mixing in really well, actually. Yeah, no. Yeah, I can't tell the difference. I thought they were turned over with me. It was just the glare. And like I said before, the glare on the baggie sometimes throws me off, depending. So that's why I always double check. So 934. A couple of pages there. I'm going to go. 934. Let's see. I have them in square. Oh, some of them. Yeah. Both these baggies are square, so it'll be a new baggie because this is a circle. I was thinking about it earlier, actually, that if uh, my collection ever gets too gray, I'll have to split up my squares and my circles. It would make it easier, in a sense, um, for when I go to kitting, if I have a round kit, I just go to my round binder. If I have a square kit, I just go to my square binder. But then I have to go through the process of doing all this labeling again for another full binder. So... I'm not yet at that point I really want to do that. I'm like, I am fine with what I have for now, but I do see myself possibly doing that in the future if my collection of spares becomes that great. Alright, so 970. We're almost on this binder. I'm going into the 3000 soon. I only have a few for 3000s. 970. It requires a new baggie as well. Yep, definitely having a lot of new baggies, new colors in this one, like I thought. Get a smaller one. Not as much as that one left, it seems. I'm going to take the label off first this time. For no reason, really, particular. I just wanted to. <laughs> I like to change it up. There we go. I'm being honest about these biggies. I don't have to fold them over if I don't want to. The other ones they do because they're bigger, but these ones just slide in like that and they fit nicely. So that's nice about that one. So 972, which will be the last one for this binder, which is also a new color as well. The last Four colors are in the 3000, so it will be in my other binder now. Oh my god, that's static in this one. Alright, I forgot this. They had one color in this flame painting that had some really bad static, so that's gonna be a pain in the butt. I 
forgot about it actually. I didn't really, I don't remember using this color a ton actually, this yellow color. So when I was doing the painting, I didn't even think or really worry about like doing a dryer sheet or anything like that because I wasn't really using it that much, the colors. So, yeah, you see like the static's horrible on those. It's just the drill, they're just sticking to the container. I don't really have a dryer sheet on me or anywhere near me, honestly, so if I can just get these all into the baggie without having to have too much trouble, I'm going to. Sometimes that irks, sometimes that doesn't. <laughs> because they just want to stick to the size of the container. I'm glad to say I haven't had a ton of problems with static key drills with my diamond paintings. I think I've had it in two or three only my diamond paintings that I have gotten. And considering I've ordered like probably like 20 plus diamond paintings at this point. Probably 30 plus actually. Well, I only started this craft a couple months ago and I've already, <laughs> I'm very deep into it. <laughs> to just leave these trills in this container and fix it later, especially the ones that are deeper in. The ones on the, that are near the edge are kind of easy to get, but the ones at the bottom here are harder to get. Oh, I almost got with that one. Oh, I got it all! I got it all! Ooh, it's amazing! I didn't think I'd actually get them all. Like I said, if I had a dryer sheet like on hand close to me, I would have gotten that out and used that and made it probably a little bit easier than what I just did. But I do not have one on hand or near me or any sorts, so I just did it that way. Because honestly, to me, it doesn't need a dryer sheet anymore. This was going into storage. And I probably, more than likely, not going to use my spare storage. I am, I've kind of decided I'm not going to use any of my spare storage drills until I need them. Say I've run out of a color and a diamond painting or whatever. but. Other than that, I'm not going to use it until I have a good amount of drills and that way I could go in and say, get do, I've heard of heaven and earth designs and I've heard of different things you can know, different things you can use your spare drills for. And so I'm kind of waiting, saving up all my spare drills until that way I can do a bigger project with them when, at that time. So, so until either I need it because I ran out of a color for a drawing painting or I get to that point, I don't plan on touching these drills. So, I did a 3000, so my first number is 330, 3371, so I'm going to go here, which I have off the top, I see it here, and I do have it in round, let's do some match comparison, this is a brown color. Difference. This other baggie? That's a square baggie. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other these ones that I just put in there are sticking out. No, I'm going to leave them in there. But there is a tint difference, so I will be a candy baggie. This one's lighter, the other one's darker. I can see the darker ones in and mix them with the light ones. Out of laziness though, I think I'm not gonna dig those dark ones I just mixed in there. <laughs> Simply because I don't feel like doing that really. I'll just leave them there. If it's just one or two, it's not gonna really bother me. It's when I have a big amount mixed in together like that, that it would bother me. Probably should have went with a bigger baggie for this. Have a good amount of this one. Too late now, I already put in that baggie. If I find I need it in a bigger baggie at a later date, I will change it then. I am not gonna change it now because I just put it in there and who knows, I might not need this I might not get this color again for how long? I don't know. And that's the thing, you never know. So Alright, on to the next color. We're in three, seven, seven, eight, so I'm gonna see a couple of pages here. Uh, 
three, seven, seven, eight. And I have it in round. I do have round and circle. I have them in both. Let's see if it matches the round one, obviously, because I can't combine it with the square. That would be a nightmare if my squares and my circles got compounded in the same baggie. Oh, gosh. That is pretty close. I'm just going to see, take one out, see if it's just the glare of the baggie that's throwing me off. Yeah. It's good. It is glare of the baggie that's throwing me off. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Alright. I haven't had to make too many extra baggies for tint, tint differences this time around, which is nice. Last one I did, I had a lot of tint differences from the ones, and that kind of bothered me. I am making a lot of baggies this time around, though, because a lot of these are new colors. That I don't mind, because it's nice to get new colors. So 3850, I got 3859. 3858 and 3859, the two correct colors. Which I don't have 3858. I have 3859, but it's in square. So either way, I'm making two new baggies. Small as and that's a brown. Because I don't think I really need the bigger babies for these browns. She's not okay. Just because she's really thin paper, so I'll punch through like it was nothing apparently. <laughs> Hmm. I just realized I had no white in this kit. I'm just looking at the type of the white I have and I usually always get the same white color which is the 3865. And I just realized I didn't have any of that in this kit. This is a very dark kit, that's for sure. <laughs> but that was our last number there. I'm just gonna lay that off that thing. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that's all done. It's all be kitted. Get it down, break down, whatever. There is empty now, ready to go for the next diamond painting I'm gonna do, which I'm not sure yet. I've got lots to do, so I don't know, but that's it for that one. Um thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um let me know in the comments below if you have anything you want me to see do, whether there are different types of videos, if you want me to see it more kidding up breakdown, unboxings, or say if you see me unbox this whole thing Pacific, you want to see me do kit that up, let me know. I'll do it. I'll put it up for you. No problem whatsoever. Just let me know. Um, other than that though, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for always for being there for me guys. Um, I can't wait to see you guys next time and have a good one. Bye.